We have half a day in El Salvador, a long layover. Figure we explore the country a little bit. See what's up with the Bitcoin situation. Heard that they've been using it. Let's hit it. I just went and bought some Bitcoin. Then I went and bought some Litecoin. Burning cookie with some white boys. You seen bad Sam, I'ma type it all. Freestyle, I don't write it all. Wearing bags and Versace drawers. 100K, I'm a salt draw. Fuck it, chop the nigga, hit it off. El Salvador, a tiny Central American country that's trying to rebrand itself from a danger zone to a blockchain driven, investor friendly paradise. Since we only have a few hours here, we figure like we should check out what the deal is with the kind of Bitcoin culture and how Bitcoin's now a national currency here. We got this guy Benjamin showing us around. Very sweet guy. Has maybe one of the funniest laughs I've ever heard. <laughs> it's almost like a laugh where if you're going into an audition for like the Joker and you're like, all right, the Joker is this like, he's funny, but he's scary at the same time. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, at this time of the year. <laughs> right when you arrive, which I thought was pretty cool, you can buy your tourist visa and either cash, card, or Bitcoin. I didn't realize it was like a national currency. Way, way back there is a volcano that sort of fuels the thermal plant that eventually they're gonna use to try to like mine Bitcoin with. Uh, that's part of the big plan. As well as like a Bitcoin city, which essentially just means like a place where they want foreign investment to come in, startups and, and no taxes for foreign companies, whatever. They're even making a push to make the kids like super tech savvy. When you're four years old in public school, you automatically get a tablet. Not long after that, they give you a laptop. So all the kids are gonna be like super fluent with all the digital stuff uh, and just ripping Bitcoin transactions left and right. But it hasn't all been smooth sailing. When the Bitcoin price crashed shortly after all these new policies were rolled out, the international community were a little skeptical of this new plan. So we headed to El Zonte, AKA Bitcoin Beach, the self-proclaimed ground zero of blockchain lifestyle to find out how this was all going to work. You can literally just use your Coinbase wallet or any Bitcoin wallet that you have to pay with Bitcoin, which is pretty cool. But it wasn't quite that simple. I thought I knew what I was doing, but there are a couple steps ahead down here. But we, are there other apps that are supported? They set up this little education center to help teach anyone who's interested about blockchain in general or about how to actually practically use Bitcoin in one's everyday life in El Salvador. Con permiso, se puede entrar, sí. My wallet? But it's like the ground zero. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah, super cool. We just. Christian goes to Vatican, Muslim goes to Mecca, and Bitcoin has come to something. Yeah, yeah. Put it on a t shirt. <laughs> Speaking of which, I decided to attempt my first Bitcoin transaction by buying a Bitcoin Beach t-shirt. Seeing Bitcoin, what you're doing on Coinbase right now takes fucking forever, so. Yeah. Yeah, so you pull up like a moon wallet. They were showing me what to do and how to do it. It was a little complicated, but it didn't seem like it to them. They said I needed a lightning wallet, where transactions can be made instantly, and if the merchant wants, they can immediately convert the Bitcoin into dollars. Thus, people never have to expose themselves to Bitcoin's volatility. Right. We got a little sidetracked at one point yeah, and he started dude. showing me That's six insane. sneakers. That one would. Oh, uh, dude, fuck yeah. Oh, can I see that picture again? It looks very <laughs> chill right here. While Benjamin was trying to figure out how to deposit and convert cash into Bitcoin using a Bitcoin ATM, Roman took me into the wild to attempt some more Bitcoin transactions. Real in Gator, Limon. Quantas? One dollar. One dollar. So one dollar. Look at this. I come to my wallet. I scan her core code. Okay, this yeah. balance is in dollars, yeah. right? Like I convert in from Bitcoin to dollars. Oh, it does it automatically? Yeah. So it doesn't go up and this is what I spend. So she came like, Dele recibir? One dollar. So she's receiving one dollar in Bitcoin, right? She's gonna receive it in, in dollars. So I can, I scan. One dollar. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Confirm. Oh, that's sick. And that's, oh, you sent that, in, oh, so it converted it? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. It's not. Yeah, it's a dollar. It's a dollar. Wow. If you're a tourist that come and you want to pay with Bitcoin, she can receive that payment in dollars. Wow. That's crazy. So that's just another method of payment, you know? What you can do with your credit card, with your debit card, you can do it with Bitcoin. That was so, super sick, dude. So that's like, uh, what you do with Bedmo? Yeah, right. It's, it's the same. 
Right. Yeah, but Venmo doesn't work in here. It's a private monetary network. Bitcoin is for everyone. You can use Venmo. I cannot use it. But Bitcoin, you can use Bitcoin. I can use Bitcoin. That's, sick. that's, so that's the that's the whole point of this. That's what it's all about, dude. Yeah. That's sick, bro. Awesome. Well, dude, thank you. Nice to meet you. Hit nice. me up uh, when you come to New York. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. I will. Thank you. Thank you. We go to Appreciate Rockaway. It. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> if I can teach me how to surf, bro. Yeah. Before, I couldn't imagine how a lot of these sort of like modest looking beachfront places accepted Bitcoin. They probably don't take Bitcoin yet, right? A few. Really? Uh -huh. A few of these a places few. here do? Mm -hmm. They don't mind about getting the Bitcoin. Yeah. We can get to the store. I, I bought my first Coca-Cola. Oh yeah? <laughs> With Bitcoin nice, here. Dude, uh -huh. nice. It's like a little tienda. Where is your wallet? Oh yeah, I have it. Ah, comprar algo con Bitcoin. Se puede ahorita. Ah, bye. Uh-huh. We need to wait for the, the person. The to Bitcoin work. person. If you want to use Bitcoin, you got to wait for the Bitcoin guy to come out. There's the guy. And in this case, the Bitcoin guy's like 16. He's just like a streetwear kid. He looks like the type of guy who waits in line overnight for sneakers to drop. <laughs> and he was like, he was dope though. Thanks, brother. I learned enough to attempt my very own Bitcoin transaction. How do you do it? Can I do it Coinbase? Pero sin grabar. Hey, yeah, que sea lightning. Lightning? I still had to download that Lightning wallet. It's crazy to me that the operation in this little hut is way more tech savvy than me. What would you like to get? A soda or Yeah, we'll get like a... Uh, what should we get? I feel like you gotta get a Pepsi or a Coke. Like, you gotta get a Coke when you buy Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin. Dos? Dos? Uh-huh. Complicated process. That's why many people don't like. buying a couple of sodas, right? Lo bueno que lo anda en el reloj. All right, transaction completed. Uh, See? Coca, okay. Coca, okay. Coca, okay. <laughs> Benjamin loves air quotes, dude. A lot of, a lot of these. Bitcoin City. Uh, he's potentially overusing it. Sorry for his place, but yeah. it's, it's, it's known as one of the best hotels. Yeah. He goes, uh, San Salvador. It's like, dude, it's pretty straightforward. San Salvador, I don't know if you need that. By a Salvadorian with a couple of people from the US. And he's very hand expressive. Trouble mm. with their finances. Hey, right. money talks. We had just enough time before we left to try El Salvador's national culinary treasure, the pupusa. A pupusa is like a little circular flatbread made with either cornmeal or rice flour. And it's usually stuffed with one or more ingredients like cheese, beans, meat, or even flowers. Yes, uh, what flavors do you, what, what, so you want to get, um, like maybe for him, like a cheese, cheese and a bean, uh, cheese bean and, and, and cheese? Uh -huh. Well, so this is only cheese, only cheese. Revueltas is cheese, beans, and pork. Uh, cheese and uh, loroco, which is a flour. Do I, which lady do I give it to? Good. Okay, this is very challenging, so pay attention. Okay, queso con loroco, cheese okay. and the flour. <laughs> so this is the way uh, we do it. It took me my whole life. Okay. Ow. <laughs> they are hot. Wow. But delicious. Pickled cabbage and the homemade tomatoes. I know it's difficult. It's hard. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. You would like to get forks? No, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, she's also coming with uh, this uh, uh, is cool them down because they are too hot. Yeah. By the way, be careful because <laughs> they are really hot. Then there is another oh. name, uh, machete flower. On this, the little things are the flowers, Loroco. Oh, yeah. I will show you later a picture. It grows on the vine. Um, so these are fl these are flowers. Yep, yeah, they are the flowers of the vine. Mm -hmm. And the name is Pupusa de Loroco. Pupusa de Loroco. Uh -huh, Loroco is the flower. There's just flowers in here. Mm -hmm. These are amazing. Dude, 
National Pupusa Day, September 16th, also my dad's birthday. It's a big pupusa. So Olocuilta is a town name. The town is very small. Yeah. Uh, but the pupusa is bigger than the town. Maybe. <laughs> After a full day of old and new traditions, it was almost time to head home. Even though the Bitcoin stuff has been controversial, the people here seem to be hopeful for the future. Whether or not it's a long-term success, Benjamin made the point that he's happy that El Salvador's in the news for something other than crime or gang violence. Believe me, I'm a local. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, things are really getting better. Yeah, that's good. good for tourism. Yeah, that's great. And uh, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, <laughs> At this time of the year. <laughs> I think we accomplished a lot. We saw as the guys were calling it the ground zero of Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, Jack Dorsey, CEO of Twitter, said it best. They are living down here and experimenting with life that could be how life is lived in the future. We will see.